Hello everybody. Guess what day it is? It's Sneak Peek Saturday. And this is the day when I read the first page of a brand new book. I I say hello to Julie, but I don't <laughs> I don't want her to say hello back because she has a little laryngitis. So Julie is not talking this morning. She's just waiting. But anyway, here it is, Sneak Peek Sneak Peek Saturday. And this is the day that uh Julie and I get together on Saturday morning and I read the first page of a brandy new book. So, and this morning's book is the Code Six by James Gripondo. Well, however you pronounce it. And here's a picture of, of James and his dog, another golden retriever. <laughs> so th this is this is pretty nice. I like this. Anyway, the name of the book is Code Six, and I believe it should be a thriller. So anyway, uh, here it is, first page, chapter one. Kate Gamble, the silver-haired director, shouted from the seat in the fifth row of the auditorium. It startled Kate to hear her name called, even if she had been waiting nearly an hour for her brief moment on stage. She was an aspiring playwright, emphasis on aspiring. More than 400 contestants nationwide had submitted spec scripts to win the honor of a live critique from Tony Award-winning Broadway director Irving Bass. The Bass Workshop, as it was immodestly billed, included public readings, though it mostly drew friends and families of the winning contestants. Kate's hope was was not to wow the audience, but merely to take the stage, face the spotlight, and read her opening scene aloud without her knees buckling. Gamble, you're up. Kate was seat seated in row J, almost hiding behind one of the nine white columns that supported the dress circle above. The famous Ford's Theater, site of Lincoln's assassination, was still a living and working playhouse. And just being there made her feel sorry for anyone who didn't get the excitement of live theater. Kate was a child when her father had taken her there to see A Raisin in the Sun, a transformative experience that had sparked her dream of picking up the pen. It took more than inspiration to return. Years later, and I'm sorry, it took more than inspiration to return turn years later and present her own work. Courage was essential. A touch of, insan of insanity didn't hurt. After countless hours of rehearsal in front of her bedroom mirror, Kate could probably have recited her play by heart, but stage fright could strike at any moment. She gathered up her script like a safety blanket and hurried up the steps at stage left. <gasps> Now that sounds really, really good. Guess what I'm going to do Tuesday? I can guess. I am going to review this book for you. But that's it for Sneak Peek Saturday. Listen, tune in Sunday, oh, Sunday, Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, where I am going to review this book because I'm going to read it over the weekend. Oh my God, I am excited. <laughs> Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Carolyn. See y'all on Tuesday. <laughs>